Good. Okay, switch sides now. We're only doing 10. Remember to keep that laid back wrist out in front. It'll come. There you go. I can take that, Bridget. Thank you. Okay. We're going to start with a uh, little bit of a game between the four of you. I'll get uh, uh, Tim and, and Bridget together, or Gareth and Gay, over on this side. Play a little game. We're going to play for about five minutes. Just want to see where you're at. We just need one ball. Tim, you can serve. Thank you, sir. Oh, there we go. Do you, want to, do, you want to, do you want to sub in or do you want to just watch it? I'll sub in. Okay. I'll tell you when. Okay. I, want to, I want to watch them play for a few minutes first. Oh, nice try. All right. Oops, other side. Oh, good, nice, low, dry. All right, Tim's uh, gay serve, sorry. All right, so from this point forward, after, if you miss hit or make a mistake, uh, you're going to sub in for the person on the side, sub out for the person on the sideline. Okay? Good point! Okay, Gay is going to sub in for Gareth. Nice try, Tim. Okay, last point. Last point. I know. Ah, nicely done. Okay. Awesome, good. Everybody come on in. Come on in, Tim. Come on in. Everybody come on. We just run backwards to grab that then. Yeah, ideally when you come to the kitchen, you don't want to let the ball go by you. Yeah. yeah. 
Come on in, Gareth. If you are running backwards, run back in Come on in, Gareth. Come on in a little closer so you can hear me. Okay. Yeah. That's why we were working in our in our uh, previous session here. We were working on backwards agility. That's one of the things that we want to work on. Okay. So people will tell you, they'll, they'll tell you, never run backwards in pickleball. That typically comes from lessons with seniors where the instructor doesn't want uh, new players getting hurt for running backwards. So they, they typically tell people don't run backwards. It's a guideline for that lesson, um, but it becomes implanted in their mind as a rule forever. The truth is, if you want to play competitive pickleball, you're going to have to be able to move backwards. So that's one of the things that we train. We actually like people getting hurt. <laughs> Brent used to drive an EMS truck. He's here for you. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, we need some business in that department. This is, this is my, my uh, partner, Inappropriate Angela. Her job is to say inappropriate things. I've never met her before. <laughs> All right. So one of the things I noticed during our little game here was that some of our drives were quite high. We had some awesome low drives as well, but some, some high drives. So we're going we're gonna to work on our drives today. We're going to try and bring them down. Let me, uh, let me give you a little demonstration, get everybody. Actually, I'm going to get you against the wall there, right up against the wall, back to the wall, touching the wall, please. Oh, yeah, I will. I'm going to in a second. I'm going to demonstrate it. Just got to wait for Gareth to come back. I'll hit some drives while we're waiting. Nice. Oops, that was too low. Oh. All right, come on in, Gareth. Right back up against the wall there. Your gl glasses. Oh, you're okay. Good idea. Eye protection. Okay. So I'm gonna I'm gonna show you what a drive looks like, and then I'm gonna explain what it is. Okay. Uh, missing a ball. Do you have the third ball? Where did the third ball go? There it is. That'll work. Okay. So. A draw, uh, well, let me demonstrate it first, okay? So I'm gonna turn sideways, and I'm gonna hit the ball. So sideways, rack it back. Oops, try that again. All right, so rack it back before the bounce, turn sideways. All right. So Angela hits the ball towards me. I bring my racket back, I move to get into position to receive it, and then I hit the ball, then I hit the ball. So racket back before the bounce, turn sideways, hit the ball. One more time. Racket back before the bounce, oh, sorry. Let me try this again. Good job. All right, so what is a drive? A drive, a drive in this case is a ground stroke. It's bouncing off of the ground, and then I'm hitting it a long distance, right? So I'm hitting it a long distance, right? It's not a drop shot. That would be a drop shot. A dink. A dink would be something here up at the kitchen, right? I'm hitting a short distance. That's also a ground stroke. But a drive is something you're hitting hard, right? So there's a hitting sensation to it, not a push like we were working on last week. Um, and it bounces off the ground first. A volley, by contrast, is something that we're going to hit out of the air. Okay, you understand the distinction? Okay. Any other questions about that? Yep. Awesome. Thank you. Okay. So now we're going to work on a drill. Just forehand to forehand cross court. Let me show you how this is gonna work. So I'm gonna hit the ball to Angela, and she's gonna catch it. Yeah, and then she's, okay, and then she's going to self feed herself and hit it to me. Nice, and I'm gonna catch it. Oops, come here ball. All right, so then I'm gonna self feed to her, I'm gonna hit it back to her. And then she's going to self-feed to me and hit it back to me, and I'm going to catch it. Does everybody understand the drill? Okay. Yes. 
I'm not setting a target yet. I will set a target later. Right now, because of Gareth and uh, Gareth and Bridget, I don't want to set a target. Okay? Not yet. Okay. All right, so I'm going to get Gareth over here, Bridget over here, Gay over here, Tim over here. Now, Gay, Gay and Tim, oh, Tim, 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 Gay, I want you guys to keep the ball within one and a half paddles of the net, so under, under, my, under my shoulder height approximately, right? So one and a half, okay. Gareth and, and uh, Bridget, don't worry about targets just yet. I'm going to introduce a target for you later, okay? So you guys just work on your fundamental technique, hitting back and forth. So you're going to go diagonally with Bridget across. Tim and, and Gay are going to go diagonally across. You got a ball there, Tim? Yeah. Yeah. So just start off self-feed. Get the technique right. Need another ball? There you go. All right, so racket back. So you want to start with your racket back. We're going to start with your racket back. Oop. And then you're going to toss it out here in front of you, comfortable distance out front, and then you're just going to hit it to Bridget. Awesome. So rather than throwing it down, which rushes you, toss it up. Okay, thank you. Nice toss, Bridget. Try to keep it down, my friend. I'm going to make one adjustment, Tim. So, Gay, you're serving. What we want to do is a ground stroke, right? So what I want to see from everybody is the racket back first, then, sorry, so the racket back first, then the toss, then the stroke, okay? Thank you. Oh, good job. Nice. Okay, rack it back first, Tim. Okay, good. I got it. All right, Gabe, and just before you hit it, I want to, I want you to start with the racket back, and I want you to turn, try and turn sideways, oh, okay? okay? So, racket back, drop it out front, drop it on the ground, out front, and then hit it to the There you go. So work on that. You're going to slow your swing speed down a little bit, but work on that sideways snap. Okay. Well done. Very nice. We'll work on your follow through later. Nice, Gay. Very low. Very low. Nice. Good job, Gareth. You're getting it, buddy. A little high, Tim. A little high. Oh, a little high. A little high. That was nice, Tim. Very nice. Good, good. Good low shot, nice sideways turn there, okay? Very good. We're just doing well.
Ah, that's okay. I got one right here for you. All right, pause one second, Gareth. I want to get you behind the baseline, my friend. Okay, and I want you to turn sideways, have the racket back, and then do the toss. Okay. Good. Much better. Good job, Tim. Nice impact point. I like that. Good job. We're getting there. That's well done. Okay, pause one second. We're going to use Gareth as our anchor. Everybody's going to rotate one position. You can rotate in. Yeah. Tim, you're going to sit up for one second, buddy. All right, you guys start. I'm going to take Tim over to the other court, and we're going to work a little bit on uh, Tim's technique over there. Okay. All right, buddy. Here's the ball. You're going to feed to me, and then I'm going to feed back to you. A little high. That's okay. Try and keep it low like that. That's better. Nice job. So sideways. Oops. Let me try that again. That went off the toe of my paddle. Nice. Yep. Yep. So I think if you change your grip a little, you're going to have more success keeping it down. I'm going to come over there in one second, okay? Oops. All right, show me your grip. Yeah, so that's continental. Yeah. If you turn it a little bit to eastern forehand, I think that'll help you keep it down. Let's try that just for a few hits, see how it feels. All right. See how much lower it stays? Exactly. Okay, hit one more and then I'm going to work you back in on the other side. Yeah. Big difference. So that brought it down about three feet for you. So you might want to think about using that grip uh, in, in game. So come on in. It does. Yeah. Exactly. One tiny little tweak and your, your, your drive dropped three feet. Okay, I'm going to sub you in for uh, Gareth here. Tim's going to hop in. Gareth, come with me. This is going to work with you privately on this card for a couple of minutes. Okay, so we're just going to hit back and forth. Can I check your grip? Let me see what grip you're using. Okay, so that's continental. That's a fully functional grip. For a drive, you may want to think about using an Eastern, which is that. Remember, we went through this grip last week with, uh, with Dinks. Um, so let's try that as your drive grip. Okay. Okay? You can go all the way back to the baseline. I'm going to hit you with a ball. Yeah, now you're going to self-feed. You're going to hit it back to me. You're going to self-feed, hit it back to me. Yeah, you're just going to self-feed. Yeah. Okay, good job. Okay, you want to be behind the baseline. Oh, just catch it. So I'm going to hit it to you. You're going to catch it. And then you're going to self-feed and hit it back to me, okay? Just like, you're, just like we were doing over there. So there we go. Good. Now you feed back to me. Nice. Check your grip. Make sure you still got that eastern grip. I'll hit it back to you. Now you're going to hit it back to me. Yep. Good job. One more time. If you can keep it low like I just did, that's our, that's our objective. Try and keep it lower. 
Very good. Very low. That was nice. Back to you. Good stuff. Now back to me. There we go. That was a beautiful low drive. I think that grip is going to work for you. Can you hear me? It's, yeah, it's a little tough to hear in here with the echo. Exactly. Um, so I think that grip's going to work for you. That might be a better drive grip for you. Okay. Try it today. You, you don't have to commit to it for life. You're not marrying it. But you're just trying it today to see how it works for you. Okay? Can you swap in for Bridget? Bridget, come with me. Or actually, just go through the curtain there. Oh, no, come. You're halfway here now. You're halfway here now. Angela, can you rotate everybody? Rotate once. Thank you. All right, so I'm going to get you down on the far court. It's hard to hear in here with the echoes. Yeah. So I'm going to try and explain to you what we're doing before I send you over there. So the first thing I want to do is check your grip. Like you like the Eastern? Eastern. Yeah. yeah, okay. You were using Eastern to dink with. Have you been using Eastern today to drive with? Yes. Okay, well, that explains why your drives are so well. That's great. I'm not going to change it because your drives are, are, are low. Okay. Um, we can lower them even more by moving our contact point out a little bit out front, especially with this eastern forehand. So let's just try. I want to. I just want to see you driving. Turn sideways. Uh, strike the ball to me. I'll catch it. I'm going to hit it back to you, just like you were doing over there. Okay. All right. So I check my grip. I got my eastern grip. I turn sideways. I hit it low to the net like that, and you catch it and hit it back to me. Beautiful. <laughs> that almost cleared the net. It was, you hit the tape, so that's good. Yeah. Nice low drive. Very nicely done. Okay. Now I'm going to hit one back to you. Now you're going to hit one back to me. Oh, well, that went under the net. No worries. We're here to practice. So I'm going to hit one to you. Good. Now you're going to hit one back to me. Yeah. Beautiful low drive. That was eight inches over the net. Nicely done. Here's another one for you. Oh, that was too high. Now you're going to hit one back to me. There you go. That's perfect. You got it. Just keep doing that. Yeah. Able to get it low uh -huh. since we started. Oh, and you this got it low today. That's I great. That's low. great. Feels really good. That's good. I'm happy for you. All right, you can swap in for Gay there. Gay, you're going to come with me. I, I think you got this already, but <laughs> let, let, let's do it a little bit. Okay, so the only thing that I would, I would, um, I would note about your ground, forehand ground strokes is you tend to hit them really open, which causes you to slice a lot. So I think adding a, a little more of a closed stance will give you the option of hitting a shot that doesn't have slice spin on it. That might be useful to you sometimes. I know you, you learn to play the game with everything facing forward yeah. with, from Arturo, right? Yeah. yeah, so it's closing off is, is not, doesn't come naturally to you. But we'll, we'll try that here today and just see how it works, okay? So we're going to do exactly what we were doing over there. We're going to try and get sideways and just hit some low drives back and forth. Yeah, just exactly what you were doing over there. So I'm going to hit you this shot. Exactly. Now you're going to hit it back to me. Good. So you see how that had slice on it and it curled this way? What we're trying to do is hit a top spin shot or a flat shot. So something like that that goes on a straight line. Yep. 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 Let, let, me, let me show you what I mean by sideways. So you started off sideways, but then when you made contact, you were fully open, right? So you started off sideways like this, but as you swung, you took a left step out with your left foot out this way, and you rotated your hips this way, and by the time you got to contact, you were fully open to the shot. So when I say sideways, what we're trying to do is keep our toes pointed in, in that direction and try to keep our feet you know, more or less 
um, in line with each other, right? So that's a sideways shot, right? And as long as your contact point is out front, you're probably going to hit either flat or with top spin. Okay? So let's try that. Yeah, exactly. That, just give me one second to get over to my side. All right, let's give it a shot. Good. Yeah, good. See that? Come on into the net. That was exactly right. So normally your balls have a slicey spin to them and they curl. That ball went straight. It hit the ground. It bounced higher because it had some top spin. And it stayed on a straight line the entire time. So if we can add this shot to your tool chest, you're going to be you're going to be more effective pickleball player. Okay, let's do two more and then we'll go back to the group. Okay. Yeah, good job. Well done. Oh, that was back to your slice. Let's try one more. That's a little bit of slice there. There you go. Beautiful. Nicely done. All right. Let's let's just try and uh, work on that today to, for the rest of the uh, the session. Thank you. Very nicely done. All right. I want to watch these guys hit for a minute or two. You can sub in for Angela. Oh, Tim, nice and low. Very nice. Good job, Bridget. Oh, Garrett, Get a little high. Good job, Tim. Are you taking to the bathroom? Sir? No. There we go. Good stuff. Okay, one more each. One more each, then we're going to make it a little tougher. Okay, good stuff. Everybody come on in. Okay, feels better? You like that grip? No, I didn't change everybody's, um, but... Which one are you doing? Yeah, oh yeah. So with Tim, we changed his grip a little. It made a huge difference. It brought his uh, height down by about three feet. Uh, we changed Gay's stance a little, and Gay was hitting with top spin. You know Slicey Gay, who hits everything slicey? <laughs> she was hitting she was hitting on a straight line with top spin, so that was awesome. You were already using the Eastern grip, and you were you were using Continental. We adjusted yours down a little, right? Okay. Uh, all right. So, any questions about the segment that we just did? All right. Let's try a new new uh, drill. Get everybody along the wall over there, except for Angela. Angela is going to demonstrate with me, all right? So, Angela, you're going to hit a ball to me. Okay, so Angela's going to gonna hit a... Angela's going to hit it. I'm going to demonstrate this. Angela's going to hit a ball to me. I'm going to receive it, and I'm going to hit it back to her, and she's going to catch it. You're going to feed to me. I'm going to drive it back to you, and you're going to catch it. So, before we were doing drive catch, drive, self feed, drive catch. Now we're going to have a selfie drive and a return, and she's going to catch. Okay? So I'm going to try and get my racket back sideways before the bounce. Oops. That was a little hot. Okay? Yeah, good stuff. I turn it sideways. I'm going to try and hit it in the court. I'm going to try and keep it low, but the ball is going to come to me. I'm going to turn sideways before the bounce. I'm going to hit a forehand back to her, and she's going to catch it, and we're going to start. That's good. All right, so it's a little more challenging because now there's a live feed here, okay? So let's try that. Um, we'll start with the partners you just had. Go back to those spots. Question? You're going to, one person is going to feed. The other person is going to try and do a, a live feed shot back to them and a catch. Yeah, we're going to be rotating. We're going to be rotating. 
Everybody got a ball? Okay, good stuff. Good. Good job, Gay. Good job, Gareth. Nice. Look at this. Okay, so for right now, our target is my chin. Try and keep it below my chin. Well, if you guys if you guys ace this, then we'll bring the target down a little bit. Okay? So use me as a reference. That was under my chin. That was under my chin. That was under my chin. Nice, Bridget. Nice, Tim. Nice job. All right, everybody's going to rotate one position. Angela, you're going to rotate in there. Bridget, you're going to stop at the post right there. There we go, good stuff. All right, so Tim and Gay are doing the feeding now. Gay you're, Gay, you're doing great. I love the height of your balls. Can you, can you try and hit it to his forehand? Okay, thank you. Good job, Gareth. A little easier to return forehands, isn't it? So we want to try and get sideways. All right, try and, try and get sideways if you can. Okay. That was beautiful sideways. I love that. Thank you, Gay. All right, let's rotate one position. You're in here, Bridget. Gay, you're on the post now. Okay, everybody, reminder, I want you to try and get sideways. And reminder, I want you to try and hit to your partner's forehand. Okay? Nice low shot there, Gareth. Forehand, forehand to forehand. Okay. Our grip is working well for you, Tim. Nice low shot, Gareth, well done. Nice try, Bridget. That was very close to being over. I like that. Tim's just ripping him now. Look at this. I think Tim found a new level in his game. There you go, Gareth. Oh, sorry. Nice low shot. Keeping it in the court is next week's lesson. You're having a tough time there, Gareth. Everything's going wrong for you right now. I'll close the door so that doesn't happen again. Nice shot, Gareth. Good return, Bridget. Here you go. I'll keep an eye on you, try and feed you. 
so you're not chasing so much. Okay, last hit, then we're going to rip rotate. Nice, low shot. Okay, last one, rotate. Nice. Yeah, uh, no, rotate. We're last hit, and then we're going to rotate. Okay. Sir? Can we uh, deal with that later, please? Okay, pause for one second. We're going to add an element of competition here now. See this white strip across the top of the net? It's called the headband. If your team manages to tick a headband, you're going to get a point. Right? The next team to tick the headband is going to get double points. The next one after that is going to be double points again. The next one after that is going to be double points again. Okay? No. Uh, you two are a team, and you two are a team. Actually, I'm going to sub Tim in for you, Angela. Oh, very close, Gareth. Nice try. All right, now, pause. We don't have to catch. Our objective is to hit as many as fast as we can. So if you can go continuous without stopping the ball, that's better for you. Now, if the ball flies away and gets out of control, then you're going to have to grab the ball, go back to the baseline, and start over. But if you can do continuous driving, you'll have a better shot at it. Are you ready? We're going to go for two minutes. Go ahead. Very close. Nope. Go fast. Go fast. Oh, that was very close. All right, pause. Pause, pause, pause. Pause, pause, pause. I need to change this game. I need to change this game. All right. You guys are going to be a team. You two are going to be a team. We're going to have one ball. Okay? There we go. Out. Yeah, just... Oh, very close. Very close. Now, we did this yesterday or the day before, and they got three, they got five in three minutes. Very close. Oh, not close. <laughs> yeah, just keep going. Try and, try and, hit, the, try and hit the headband. Okay, it's not going to hit the headband if we don't keep it low. Oh! Oh! Did that touch the headband? No? Okay. Yep. Remember, it, it doesn't have to go over the net. It can hit the headband and stay on this side of the net. It's still going to give you points, okay? I want you to try and hit the headband. Oh, nice try. Here you go. Keep it going. Very close. I got that one. Oh, close. 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 Oh, nice try. Okay, let's rotate one position. Let's get Angela in. So, Bridget, you're going to come on out. Oh, sorry, Bridget, you're going to be over here. My mistake. Yeah. Oh, that was so close.
Stay back. Stay back. We want these to be ground strokes. I feel it coming. It's coming. Somebody's about to hit a headband. Here we go. Oh, not that one. Not that one. Keep it low. Keep it low. Nice try. Oh, very close. There you go, Bridget. There you go. Close. Okay, rotate. Rotate. Okay, you're going to be over here. Tim, you're going to be at the post, buddy. There we go. One of the... Doesn't matter who serves it. Oh, are we going to get a headband strike? Ah, oh, it won! Yay! Okay, one point for Bridget. Next headband strike. Oh, close. I like your spunk. There you go. Oh, nice try. Pull out. Let it go. Gay can feed. Gay's got one. Oh, Gareth! Just a little low. Oops. Oh, almost a second. Very close. Oh, very close. Okay, rotate, rotate one position. No, I'm good. <laughs> okay, guys, remember, you don't have to hit it hard to hit the, you just have to hit it low, okay? Doesn't have to be hard, just has to be low. Tim's enjoying that new grip. He's a monster now. Oh, so close. All right, everybody, that was awesome. Bridget is our champion. One. Right. So even if you don't, does she get two of them? That's three points. Well, you got one. Oh, I didn't. It must all happen when my back was turned. I had to go get. I had to go get another ball. Bridget got two? Yeah. Bridget's our champion. Okay. So even if, I mean, hitting, striking the uh, headband on the net is tough.
It's a really tough assignment. But the idea is just keep it low, right? And that's what we were working on. So that, that was just a little fun element. Okay, now we started with a game. We're going to finish with the game, okay? We're going to have a regular game with a built-in skills competition. Each team is going to start with three balls. So I'm going to put three balls on each side of the net. I'm going to ask you to sit this game out. <laughs> All right. So we're going to start with, with um, three balls out, um, and we're going to play a normal game. When you hit your drives, and I'm just talking about drives, if they're outside of, if they're above my, I'm going to set a generous target, uh, if they're above my chin. If they're above my chin, I'm going to move one ball from your side to the other side. Right? And we go until no more. You'll go until there's no more balls, and then you have no more balls to lose. But the other team can still make a mistake, so you'll still have a chance to get some balls back. Okay? And we're so keeping score. And we're keeping score. Regular scorekeeping. We're going to try and play a full game. Well, we might not have time. We'll start at five five two. Okay. okay? We're going to start the game at five five two because we've only got about six minutes. Um, so at the end of the game, we're going to have a game winner and a skills competition winner. It might be the same team. It might be split. We'll see. Might be you. <laughs> might be you. <laughs> All right. Yeah. So we'll have girls against the guys. Uh, and Angela and I will be watching. Okay? So you guys go ahead. And you guys can serve. I need a, I need a ball. I need another ball because I need one for the game, too. Okay, Angela's going to referee. Angela, can you uh, referee and move the balls until I get another ball? Thank you. Okay, uh, we're not counting the serve, we're only counting drives. Okay, we're not counting the serve. There's a drive, okay. It's only on the third? No, drives, just drives, and not the, the serve. Yeah, the return is a drive. If the, if the return is a drive, yes. And not the serve, okay. All right, so you guys know we're not counting the height of the serve, yeah. just not the serve. No. And just drives. We're not counting drops. We're not counting dinks. Right now, we're only counting drives. Nice. I was in. You get a point. But you don't get a ball. That's low. Oh. It was definitely low. Yeah. Two, seven, one. Ah, I was a little high and I was a little out. Yep, correct. A little high. That was good. They canceled? Okay. Two highs canceled, so no balls. No balls traded, changed sides. It was. <laughs> I'm the I'm the rep. Okay. I'm the judge. I like you, but not that much. Oh, really good effort. Really good effort. Oh. Nice try. You're definitely keeping them low. Oh, good low drive, okay? Good low drive, Bridget. Oh. Okay. Judge says they cancel each other out. Good low drives, though.
Well done. Nice drive, Tim. Well, out. What's the score? 10 7 2? All right. Good drive, Gay. Great drive, Gay. Great drive. Oh, nice try, Gareth. I think that counts as a home run, though. So. Low. Is that high? Okay, well, if it's marginal, don't call it. Oops. Okay. It's, the, when the net gets bumped, the balls go rolling. Oh, good low drive. A little high. Oh! Is that game over? Okay, good job. You guys won the game, but the ladies won the skills competition. Well done. Yeah. It can happen all of a sudden. Your grip was working for you, then it wasn't. That happens when, we, when we're learning any new skill. We'll have it, and then it'll go away. And then it'll come back, and then it'll go away. Don't be frustrated by it, just learn to enjoy the process. All right, any questions about what we did today? You two are playing with really high level players. You guys are awesome. Yep. They've been doing this for years. You guys have been doing it for months. Well, you got to level up when you play with people who are better. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Good stuff. Fun. All right. So today we were working on drives. What are the two things we need to remember for drives? Racket back before the bounce. Right? And then? And drive it low. Yep, exactly. So our co our contact point is up front, but we want to we want to drive it low. Okay. Back it back before the bounce is the primary thing. That's our setup. Okay. All right. Well, you guys did great. Let's uh, pick up, uh, put all the equipment away, and get out of here before they kick us out. Sorry. Yes. Yeah. The nets have to go away. Yeah. Can you guys teach them? I'll uh, take down the one on the other side. Are you guys taking the one down on the other side? Okay. Awesome. You know how to take this net down, right? Okay. Yes, I believe I do. Do you want me to? I well, you could maybe take. Okay. Why don't Why don't I teach them? Yeah. Let's take the net. I'll I'll teach them. No, no. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Let me let me teach. No, that's not the right way. All right. All right. So let me teach you at the same time. Okay. Uh, give me one second. Let me shut off this camera.